Hi, this is Margot Burns, and I'm going to show you how to make a clickable button in Flash Professional CS6 that will play a sound when you click the button. So let's get started. Let's create a new one. I'm just going to do a default size. This is 550 by 400 pixels. Here is our basic um, uh, layout. That's all it's going to be. I've prepared my, my files ahead of time, so let's go to File, Import, I'm going to import to the stage my picture that I want to have clickable. And here we are in our demo thing. So Oswald, JPEG, and that just comes right in and goes on the stage. If you look in the library, look over here, you'll see that Oswald JPEG is there. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to modify it and convert it to a symbol. Um, there are several types of symbols, but we want the button, and that seems to be the default, the default for this. Give it a name. Um, naming things makes it a lot easier when you're working in Flash. So now we have an Oswald button and an Oswald JPEG. So in this Oswald JPEG, uh, excuse me, in the Oswald button, um, if we double click it, we change the timeline. Let's go back here. Up in the upper left hand corner, it says scene one. The timeline looks like this. It says layer one, and there's only something in that first keyframe down here at the bottom. But if we double click on the button, we now see this is the Oswald button, and we have a different timeline here. There are actually four different things here, the up, over, down, and hit. We're only going to use up, over, and down in this. So we need to be able to say what we're going to do in those. I'm going to select all three of those. Um, I'm doing the hit anyway just because. Um, and you need to hit the F6 key. And that will put a keyframe in each of those. You could also go to Modify, Timeline, and then go Convert to Keyframes. You could do it that way. Um, I like to use shortcuts. Anyway, so now we have a status. So up looks like this. Over, we want something to indicate that um, we're over this, that we, we're, we're ready to, to click on it. So I just go over here. I use the Rectangle Primitive tool here in the thing. You may just have the regular Rectangle tool. I like the Primitive tool because it's easier to um, resize it. I'm going to draw a rectangle around him, and this one's coming out blue. You can change what color it is. Um, let's change it to red. And notice that if yours comes through and it has, uh, it covers him up, um, if you had something like that, remember that the fill has to be clear. So it's aligned with that. You can also, while this is selected, go to properties, and you can find the fill and the stroke the stroke and the fill here as well. You can change the size of it if you want it smaller or bigger and you can change it to something very specific. Let's just change it to 10. So that's the size of it. Now that's when it's over so that when we put our cursor over the picture it indicates that that's something that's live. Now down we might want to also say, hmm, let's keep that shape. I'm going to keep that shape. I'm going to use the selection tool, which is, um, you can just type a V and get to it. But I'm just, just going to select, deselect everything and just select that. And I'm going to copy it, which would be Command C. I'm going to go over to the down position. And then I'm going to do something special, paste in place. Otherwise, it just sort of pastes it in a random spot. This one, I don't want it to be red. I, so I'm putting the cursor down. I'm going to change it to blue. Okay. I also, when I click, I want it to play a sound. Now we don't have any sounds in our thing, so we need to import a sound. So we go to File, and I'm going to import this to the library. And here's my Oswald sound that um, I already recorded. And now I can come over here, and in this down position, I can look at the properties of this button and say, Ah, here's Oswald. So now if you look very carefully over here in the down, you'll see that it has audio associated with it. So now hit Command Return, and let's see what this looks like. Give it a sec to, to formulate it. Here it is. I put my cursor over it, and it is red. And if I click on it, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And notice it did turn blue very briefly while Oswald, I held it down. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And there you go. Have fun.